but I thought that it might be fun to show you guys what I bring with me to the gym. Look at this. My magic spoon orders in. My favorite holiday thing from Trader Joe's is back. Trying the combo that everyone raves about. I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up and start shooting my first outfit. I am making the chicken and wild rice soup. Okay, you guys, it is not November. It is July right now. It's so freaking hot. It's 90 degrees right now. 90 freaking degrees. I was gonna do cardio and stuff, but I am just overheated. Poor Spartacus. I took him to the park this morning and it was like 88 degrees then and he just wanted to turn around and go home. He didn't even want to enjoy the freaking park. So that's where we're at right now. That is our November at the current moment, but it should be done by Sunday. But anyways, you guys saw I just got done at the gym. I switched my gym bag to this one from Disneyland because this is more protective of my stuff. I can organize my stuff better before I just had like one of those drawstring backpacks and everything was shoved in there. It took me forever to find stuff. So this is a lot better. And then especially for when I want to bring my camera to the gym, I always get very nervous too because that drawstring bag has no protection on it and my camera is getting thrashed around inside. So this is going to be more protective and it can sit better like in between some stuff. So I thought it might be fun to just do a little quick impromptu what's in my gym bag. This is just going to be very fast because you know you guys saw what I put in here for Disneyland so we didn't need to make this like a whole drawn out other video but I thought that it might be fun to show you guys what I bring with me to the gym. Okay I tried to see if I could give you guys a better spot where my face wasn't so shadowed but there's nothing I can do about it unless I move that. Ugh. No. Okay and now I'm gonna have to put that back. Okay. Anyways let's just dive into it here. So first off I am still keeping my phone on the side. I stretched it out that day at Disneyland and now my phone slides in there perfectly. And then in the front pocket over here I have my wallet today. Usually I don't keep really anything in here, but I need to go run some errands at the grocery store, so I brought my wallet. But then inside is where you know, the bulk of the stuff is. So, again, so much room in here. First up, I have this. This is actually a puffer vest. I switched to this for the winter time, and I try to keep at least one cover up of some type in my bag at all times because there's a lot of times where I'll go to the gym in something like today where I just have on a sports bra and shorts or leggings or something and I just feel more comfortable 
putting a cover up on. I don't care what I look like, but I don't like people looking judgy. So I just prefer when I need to go run errands afterwards to just like throw on a shirt, especially if it's something like the mall, the grocery store or something, that's fine, I'll run in really, really fast. But for like Target or the mall, for some reason, I really prefer to have a cover up. So for winter, I've been carrying around this one. This is a puffer vest just because it's easy, it's insulated, it's gonna keep me warm. And it's great to be like another layer if I already wore like a shirt or a sweatshirt to the gym, but it's really cold outside. This is a layer that can easily go over that. I'm not gonna take it out just because it is rolled up in here and I don't wanna have to re-roll it right now in my car, but it's just like a green padded puffer vest. And it did come with this little bag because truthfully it's not for camping. What's nice about this particular puffer vest is that it's not too thick. I mean, you guys can see it fits in here. It's actually a thinner puffer vest, so it's gonna work whether it's just a little bit cool or really, really cold. And then in here, this is my pump cover up that I wore today, so I don't need to do that vest for when I go run errands because I was already wearing this. I've been very into pump covers lately, which is essentially just an oversized t-shirt over everything. So I'm just gonna put this on for errands and stuff. And then what else do I keep in here? I keep hand sanitizer in here, very important. When you know, you're at the gym, you're touching all the other things that people are sweating on and touching and stuff. So I always sanitize my hands afterwards. Although my gym is very good about having a ton of hand sanitizing stations, so it's not that big of a deal. I also keep a reusable grocery bag in here. I run to the grocery store a lot after I work out. And if I run out of my reusable grocery bags in here, like I've taken them all in and I forgot to refill them in my car, I like to have an extra one in my gym bag since it's the time I'm most likely to just do a random run to the grocery store and like maybe not have all of my other bags with me. So I keep one of them in here. I also keep this water bottle that I showed you guys from Disneyland. This one is an expanding water bottle. So open it, opens all the way up and then close it. This is just for emergencies. There have been many times for the gym where I forgot my water and I cannot work out without water. So I would have to buy a water bottle at the gym. I mean, it's only like two bucks, but still it's two bucks I don't need to spend. So now that I have this water bottle that I got for Disneyland, I keep it in here for days where I might forget this big guy. And I know it might seem like, oh my God, that thing is so big. How can you possibly forget it? I have forgotten it many times. Usually I'm not so far that I can't go back, but there have been times where I've gone all the way to the gym and realized it and I'm not gonna you know, drive back to my house to get it at that point. So now I have this little foldable one that I always keep in here. So if an emergency, I don't have this, I can at least fill this one up. Sorry, I'm so thirsty. I also have my wireless headphones in here. These are from Amazon. Pretty much everything in this bag is from Amazon, but there you go. They're the sport ones, so they have the little ear hook on them. I really like these. These last forever, and they're compatible with Android or Apple. Then I also carry a jump rope in here. I love jump roping to warm up like for five minutes, and I actually, I know that my gym has jump ropes. I just don't actually know where they're kept. I, I honestly can't think of a place in the gym where I see the jump ropes hanging consistently. So I just bring my own and it's just also easier that way. I always know it's available and I also know I'm the only one who's touched it. And then lastly, I had to go ahead and just leave in these deodorant wipes. Again, there have been times where I've got into the gym and realized that I never put on deodorant that day and I just don't want to be stinky. So I'll leave these in or I'll like maybe use these post-workout if I had like a super sweaty workout and I might need to go meet someone right away or run errands and I just want to freshen up at least a little bit so I'm not so stinky. These come in clutch to just leave in your gym bag. Oh, I also have my Clorox wipes in here still. I mean, I guess these are just good in general at the gym if you know they've run out of their sanitizer spray or wipes or stuff and you need to wipe down a gym equipment, but my gym's really, really good about staying really stocked on those. So I don't ever really need those, but still not a bad idea to have in your gym bag. And the other reason why I'm so excited about this gym bag is like the pockets inside because I wear my sunglasses whenever I drive and there have been so, so many times where I get to the gym and I realize that I didn't bring the case and I was having to put it in my little drawstring bag and they were getting thrashed inside the bag. So now at least first off, this bag is a lot more structured and will protect my stuff a lot better, especially like I said earlier for my camera, but also too, I have a spot to put my sunglasses so that they can be like on the side and protected and not be rolling around with everything else inside of here. But yeah, that's my little quick what's in my gym bag. 
but like I said, I need to go run errands. I want to make chicken and wild rice soup this weekend, so I am going to run to Trader Joe's and to the grocery store really quick. I don't think I'll take you guys inside, but I'll just see you guys when we get back home. Hi, popping back on here because I decided to stop at Starbucks after going to the first grocery store, and I remembered the chestnut praline is back, which means that I could order my holiday drink. I don't get the chestnut praline latte. What I do is I get an iced coffee, and I ask them to sub two pumps of the chestnut praline syrup in place of the regular sweetener and then I top it off with the sweet cream cold foam and it is delightful it's delicious and it's nice because it's not too overly sweet it's just like this light hint of the chestnut praline it's perfection I came up with it during vlogmas last year and a few of you guys ordered it and said that you really like it too so if you guys are looking for a holiday drink that's not too heavy definitely try this one out but let me see if it's still as good as last year before I like keep endorsing it Oh man, that is perfection. Okay, it's just as good as last year. Just as good as I remember. Get this one, don't get the chestnut praline latte unless you really love it. But if you want something lighter, because that one is very heavy and a lot of sugar, this is a much lighter option that's still really, really good. Wow, lovely. My day is made. You guys, I just got home and look at this. My magic spoon orders in. I'm so excited to try the cereal. I've been like dying to freaking try it, but of course I gotta bring these in. Would you like to inspect the groceries? Thank you so much. Is it safe? Am I good? Are we safe? I got one more for you to inspect, buddy. There you go. Thank you so much for keeping the household safe. Okay, look, here's the deal. I'm trying not to do a Trader Joe's haul in like every vlog, but I just gotta share one thing with you guys because my favorite holiday thing from Trader Joe's is back and I'm so excited. I had to get it. The Hold the Cone Peppermint Cones. You guys, these are the best Hold the Cone flavor. They're amazing, they're so good. It's peppermint ice cream dipped in chocolate and the cone itself is chocolate too, just it's perfection every year when this comes out i'm like i gotta get a box like i get a box every single time i go to trader joe's during the holiday season because i cannot be without these i almost cry when the season's over for these because they're so amazing but in terms of the magic spoon cereal i got their regular just like variety pack i'm a little bit upset i just did that on a whim but then i realized that you could actually customize your pack three of these four flavors i would have put in my custom pack anyways i just would have replaced one of them but this one comes with the fruity then frosted is this one the frosted one yes this one's frosted there it is also comes with the cocoa one and then this is the one I would have replaced, which is the peanut butter. I'm like not opposed to eating it. Like I'm down to try it, but I would have preferred one of the other flavors more than the peanut butter, if that makes any sense. But I think mixing these two together will be bomb. I am not gonna try these tonight just because I really want my hold the cone and I wanna try these like for dessert one night. So maybe tomorrow night we'll do an official review on these and I'll like run through all the stats on the nutrition and stuff for you guys. But I just wanted to at least unpack the box since i had already shown you guys that i got it i didn't want to leave that hanging just so you guys can at least see right away which flavors i got it's later i just finished dinner and y'all know that means dessert oh i'm so excited for days i may need to have another meal later though because i had forgotten to eat after the gym so technically my dinner was like my post gym little meal that i usually have so Maybe I will do the Magic Spoon cereal tonight, depending on, on how hungry I am. But for right now, we have a couple of these little peppermint hold the cones. Wow. Just as good as I remember. Amazing. Okay, folks, we are diving in with some Magic Spoon. I've got some Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Milk over here. This is my favorite like non-dairy milk to use. So we'll go over this if you guys haven't heard of Magic Spoon before, although if you are on the internet at all, I'm sure you have. What's different about these cereals is first off, they're grain-free, but they have zero sugar, which is amazing. And you'd think that like zero sugar cereal wouldn't taste good, but from the reviews that I've seen and heard, it's supposedly very, very amazing. So 
we'll see how good it actually is uh, what and then my favorite thing is that there are 13 grams of protein in the cereal which is so freaking awesome they're also keto friendly gluten free grain free i think i already said that soy free wheat free naturally flavored and totally delicious i like that they include that so here's just like a little comparison of it compared to most other cereals if you're counting carbs they only have four net carbs i don't count carbs so i don't honestly really care for the purposes of the way that i eat i just more care about the protein because i'm always trying to get in as much protein into my diet as possible because i like to heavy weight lift but we'll go ahead and give it a try like i said this is the fruity flavor and i don't know i was just like really craving this one tonight i was like sitting there thinking about like oh what flavor do i want to try and i was like fruity sounds amazing so first off i do like their boxes but here is what the cereal actually looks like. It almost looks like Fruit Loops, which I did hear that this flavor tastes like Fruit Loops. I'm all for that. Let's do cereal first because I'm not a psychopath. Sorry if you do milk first. Just a little humor, I promise. I'm not really calling you a psychopath, but I think that's about a cup, probably a little bit more than a cup. Some almond milk. I kind of wish that this was cold, but that's okay. Pour it in. Okay, like I said, just doing one flavor tonight. I just wanted a quick bowl for a late night snack. And then tomorrow we'll try the rest of the flavors. Ooh, I don't like any of the spoons in here. Get it nice and mixed up. And let's give it a try. It tastes like Fruit Loops. That's amazing, there's no sugar in here? How is that possible? Mm. It definitely tastes like Fruit Loops, but like a lighter Fruit Loop. It's not as sweet as regular Fruit Loops, but I do like it. Like this is a great midnight snack or something. If you just end up starving in the middle of the night and you need a little something, this is good. This hits the spot. I can't wait to try the other flavors. But anyways, I am watching the rest of Impeachment right now, American Crime Story. I totally forgot about that show for a week so I went to go finally check and I was like oh my god I have three episodes and it's like all the way to this season finale. Perfect. So I will be enjoying the rest of my night with that. Update. I threw in some blueberries in here just for a little bit of added sweetness and it is perfect. So highly recommend blueberries or a different kind of berry. Hello. <laughs> it's Saturday. I am warming up some leftover pizza. Trevor and I actually the day after Disneyland we're too tired to even try to attempt cooking so we ordered pizza. I only ever really eat two to three slices unless I'm starving. Sometimes I will eat the whole half but generally two to three slices. So I have a ton of leftovers. Actually this is my last of the leftovers. I've just been having like two slices at a time with oh god that's hot with some Caesar salad which I'm gonna mix up right now i just got done at the gym i hit a new pr on my hip thrust 255 at four reps very happy with that so i figured i could have some pizza but like half of it is stuck to the foil because i left it in for way too long so I'm trying to fix that and i need to mix up my salad but i originally was way too ambitious in my plans for today and i had been planning on going to the gym, then showering and everything, and then shooting, wait, hold on, hold up, which is the new chicken, that's the new chicken, I need the old chicken, sorry guys, I'm like losing chicken, crap, what was I saying, that whole chicken debacle just threw me for a loop, oh yeah, I was gonna try to shoot some outfits on my own today, Michelle and I were gonna try to shoot today, but she had like a full day with family stuff, and I just ended up not being a great idea for us to try to squeeze in a shoot today but i had stuff i had needed to shoot today but now the due date for that actually got pushed back so that works out i still do want to shoot at least one of the outfits this weekend but i'm actually gonna wear it to my friend's shower tomorrow so we will just shoot it tomorrow there's no need for me to try to go out and shoot it and i can give myself back some time because i am definitely running behind i don't know why lettuce is wilting so freaking fast in our fridge it only lasts like a day now this is very annoying but anyways i'll like pick out all these wilted pieces so instead i'm gonna film a couple of videos today i'm just like 
getting ready right now. I just showered. I need to do my makeup and hair still, but I haven't eaten since the gym and that's super, super heavy lifting session. So I'm just trying to give my body some nourishment here. But then afterwards, I need to go ahead and wrap my friend's present for her shower, especially since I'm going to try to shoot my outfit before I head there. So I definitely need to just make sure I'm like as ready as possible. I don't want to run late, obviously. So yeah, we'll wrap it today. I'll show you guys what I got. I am missing one of the pieces. I'm really sad. I'm hoping it'll come in before I leave tomorrow, but I highly doubt it. So I'll have to tell them we'll have to do dinner or something sometime. I think it's just going to miss me unless by some miracle on a Sunday, Amazon decides to deliver early. But usually we get our Amazon deliveries here late afternoon and the shower is at noon and I need to leave at like 10.30 since I want to stop and shoot. So <sighs> I'm going to try to do what I can. That's kind of a bummer. I didn't realize it was going to arrive so late until after I had like hit order. So I guess that'll just give me an excuse to see them again, which is great because I haven't seen these friends in a while. So I'm excited to see them tomorrow, but I'll definitely let them know we have to make further plans. We are missing all of the scissors in our household. Oh, found them. Sorry, you guys, I'm totally all over the place and I apologize. I'm just trying to get things done so that I can film this video. This is like one of those situations where I have to film and then literally edit as soon as I'm done filming. It's gonna be a long video. It's the most recent Amazon favorites video that went up. And since it is now daylight savings, it's just getting darker so much earlier. So I don't have as much time in the afternoons to film as I used to. There we go. Chicken Caesar salad, beautiful, lovely. I got some protein some fats from the dressing and fiber from the lettuce and the pizza we got a little bit more carbs from the bread actually a lot more carbs from the bread but oh gosh but i am not low carb so i don't really mind and also i just had a very heavy workout so i could definitely replenish my energy stores and then some extra protein from the cheese along with some calcium and i don't know why i just gave you guys a nutrition rundown I think it's because I really got into Abby Sharp on YouTube. She is a dietitian, and I love her approach to food so much. I can go more into it in like a what I eat in a day or something, but basically she's just kind of like, eat whatever you want. Just make sure that your meals will satisfy your hunger. So it needs to have like the three elements, protein, carbs, and fats to satisfy your hunger. And as long as it has all of those, eat your meal, eat your snack, and that should be enough to keep you full and satisfied so that your body feels optimal. So I really love that approach. So that's what I've been focusing on, just making sure I'm getting in like those three macros every single meal, but I don't count them. I just make sure that they are in every single meal. Anyways, I'm done with my nutrition lesson. Sorry about that. I will probably see you guys later after I'm done filming and when it's time to wrap up this baby shower present. God, I'm getting old. Last week was a bridal shower. This week is a baby shower and then next weekend is a wedding. Oh my God, I also need to work on deep cleaning the house because Trevor's mom is coming to stay with us later this week for the wedding that we're going to. So I got a lot to do today. I'm gonna eat and I'll see you guys later. It's much, much later. I have put on a full face of makeup and I've taken off a full face of makeup, but we're in the kitchen again because it is time to try the rest of these flavors. As we know, I tried the fruity last night, but tonight we're gonna crack open frosted, cocoa, and peanut butter. And one observation that I did make on these is I think I actually prefer these dry just because when I put the magic spoon cereals in the almond milk, First off, it kind of takes some of the sweetness away. It washes off a little bit of that flavor. And also after these have been sitting in there for a little while, it kind of makes like a little bit of like a gel-like consistency, if that makes any sense. So I think that this is definitely a dry cereal, but I don't know, I might try the cocoa tonight in cereal um, or in milk, I should say. But let's try the frosted first. I'm just gonna eat these dry straight out. Ooh, that smells really sweet. Like, how is there no sugar in this? There's no way. But, there we go. Frosted. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Honestly, it kind of tastes like a mini crunchy glazed donut. That's really good. I like that. But I can tell... Once I put this one in almond milk, it would wash all the flavor away. So, 
This is a dry one. Next up is peanut butter. Mmm. Wow. Okay, that one has had the most flavor so far. And really good. Oh my god. I can't believe I almost wouldn't have ordered this one had I done the uh the custom box. And those things happen for a reason. Wow, this is really good. Okay. I think I will do a mix between the cocoa and the peanut butter in tonight's bowl, but let's try the cocoa. So, here's what the cocoa one looks like. Let's give her a turn. Hmm, not bad. Everyone said that these taste like cocoa pops. I like to differ. They don't. They're their own flavor. I wouldn't describe them as cocoa puffs though. But I'm gonna mix up a bowl of this. I'm gonna do the peanut butter combined with this. And then I need to wrap the present for tomorrow's baby shower. And as you guys can hear, Spark is drinking, you guys. I felt so bad. He was like sitting in front of me and staring at me. I couldn't figure out what he wanted. I opened up the back door so he could go to the bathroom and stuff. And he was just like staring at me. He clearly needed something and it took me forever to realize he needed water and I felt so bad. But he's so good about trying to communicate with us when he needs something. You're very smart. Yes, you are. Even though we call you dumb sometimes. You just do dumb things. Peanut butter first. Do like that much. Oh God. no. And then the cocoa. Yum. The cocoa is really crushed though. There's a lot of broken pieces in here. I don't know what happened. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm just like, why? And now tonight, my almond milk is cold, which is lovely. And just pour it in. Do you guys pour your milk in first or do you do cereal first? I'm just very curious. Sound off in the comments. But mix these up. Trying the combo that everyone raves about. Mm. That's a good combo. That's a winning combo right there. It's so much better when the almond milk is cold. Mm. Time to wrap this present. I realized this actually should be a lot easier than before because I have a leftover box from when I was doing Michelle and Nate's presents. And it does have the ribbon, which is perfect. I don't need these. These are like little lights that you could technically put inside the box, but I'm not gonna get that high tech. I have some leftover pink tissue paper from the shower last week, which is perfect because the baby is a girl. So, this will fit, can I just put this like this? Oh yeah, perfect. So, put the tissue paper in there. And for what I got, so I'm really sad. This was also supposed to include a pair of baby sneakers. And Amazon says that it should arrive tomorrow, sometime before 9 p.m., but the shower is at noon. So, I don't think that they're going to get here in time. I think I already told you guys this. I'm losing my mind. You guys, I didn't have approval on the video that went up before this video. Originally, there was supposed to be a different video going up, and I didn't have approval on it, so I've been running around today, and the Amazon Favorites video that you guys saw before this one, I literally filmed, uploaded, edited, and exported, and uploaded to YouTube. Just back to back to back tonight. I've been like rushing so that I could make sure that I get a video up for you guys since the original one wasn't approved yet. So, I'm tired. I, I don't even know what I've talked to you guys about. But anyways, first thing that I got is this blanket. It looks so cozy. Do you guys see that? I did get this off of the register, you guys. But this one is the Color Changes Life blanket. I don't know. Like I said, this looks cozy. And then, ugh, I have to show you guys this. I, I need to refold it anyways. But I also got her little baby smith this adorable little like 
sweat set lounge set neutral tie-dye i'm obsessed it was so cute when i saw it i was like oh i have to be the one to give that to her that is so me i want to buy myself the adult version of this and just like twin with my friend's baby pop this in here it got unfolded because i had to show trevor too let's do it that way cool and then Oh, perfect. The video exported. Yeah, I'm still working on the exporting the video right now. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Also, too, I gave in and I downloaded Peacock. I'm just on like the free version right now, but I just missed the office and Parks and Rec and stuff. But here, this is where they get you. I knew that only a few seasons of The Office were free, but I was pleasantly surprised to find out that on the free plan, you get up to five seasons of The Office. Mmm. Mmm. Which is great. I can survive on that. But for Parks and Rec, it's only the first two seasons, which are the worst two seasons. So there's a good chance I'm going to upgrade to the paid. I'm really upset about it. But... Anyways, back to this. So I have my ribbon. Hello, puppers. He's over here. I'm trying to beg for some of my cereal. Get this even. Yes, I cannot wait for the holidays. Wrapping presents is like my jam. If you know, you know. I get so excited for that Ooh, shoot. every single year. And I just realized the other day I start filming Vlogmas in like, at this point, I think like two and a half weeks or something like that. It's so like slightly less than three weeks because we're going to Cancun, which means I am going to start filming Vlogmas early because I'm not going to include Cancun and Vlogmas. It's going to be its own like single vlog. So I'm not going to do daily vlogs there, but the Cancun vlog will still come out in December. You guys aren't going to have to like wait until Vlogmas is done to see Cancun. I'm not going to do you like that the vlogmas schedule is basically just like last year where five days of the week it's daily vlogs then the other two weeks are more regular formal sit down videos but basically when the cancun vlog is ready that vlog is going to replace one of the sit down videos so don't you guys worry you will see cancun but that's all to say i have to start filming vlogmas early i'm going to start the day after thanksgiving so yeah, it's coming up really soon here for me, which I am thrilled about. Bo is on. Beautiful. I don't have a card, I just realized. Shoot. Just gonna do a little baby's breath. Beautiful. So cute. All right, that's all wrapped. I'm gonna continue to enjoy my five seasons of The Office. Oh my God, what is this? Like the grandma and my magic spoon and i'll see you guys in the morning which is now infinitely more busy since i gotta take my photos before the shower hello it's a busy sunday morning i'm on my way to my friend's baby shower i'm gonna have to take the photos afterwards because i realized i didn't have a card so i had to stop at target but then i reread their invitation and it says instead of cards to do a book so I got them this. For those of you who've been paying attention, Trevor's nickname is T-Rex. So it's a little T-Rex book. So I'm gonna sign it from Sarah and T-Rex Trevor, which is gonna be hilarious. Perfect. I think that that's such a cute idea to do a book instead of cards because you know, you're gonna throw cards away anyways, but at least the book you can give it to your kids and be like, look at how many people loved you. Shoot. I guess I'll just have to retie the bow. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I did way too good of a job with this. Got it. Put her in. Beautiful. Whoops. Baby's breath back in. Cute. I love it. I left my phone at my brother's place. It's not my fault. Don't walk away. I don't quite know what you're running from Cause all my friends they think I'm fun You take yourself too seriously I, 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 I don't wanna hear you say we we start to I, I, I'm I'm Cause you're the one who's going home to be your 
all alone Watching cooking shows You take yourself too seriously I, 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 I'm fine It is a post shower and I've just arrived here to my shooting destination. I am just gonna shoot at a parking structure near my house. I'm turning around really quick because there's people in the first choice spot I was gonna go to, but it's all good. I need to shoot some photos for a thumbnail for a brand like I mentioned a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I do that. Right now I have Patrice in the back seat. For those of you who are newer, don't know what the hell I mean by Patrice. You're like, who the hell is that? It is my six foot tall tripod. It's the tripod that I use for filming most of the time. I have two of them. This is the larger, hardier one that can hold this camera. I mean, my other one can hold this camera too, but it feels a lot sturdier with this one. So I've got her in the back. I don't know if you guys can see, it's such a mess back there, along with a second outfit. I'm basically keeping on this base and just switching out like a couple of tops and accessories and stuff. So let's go ahead and get that all set up. All right, you guys are currently mounted onto Patrice. I'm getting into my first outfit. So whenever I shoot with this camera by myself, I don't bring the big lens. I'm just gonna shoot on the vlogging lens because when I use the big lens, it like always wants to focus wrong. Like if I'm too close to the camera and I don't have a clicker, so I need to press on the camera in order to get it to start shooting. It goes on a timer and I set it so that it takes like three photos in a row. But with the big lens, it like refocuses too much versus when I work with the smaller lens, it doesn't do that. It takes a wider focus area so I can get a cleaner shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up and start shooting my first outfit. You just land what you like Shotgun and pink pilot You book me to fly Tell me what you want Position List them up Copy live before the dinner Solo shoot Done I'm gonna head back home Edit my photos And rest up Before I make The wild rice And chicken soup But It's like Always so stressful To do these on your own Because number one you're by yourself and people are freaking judgy of like a girl out with her tripod. And also, I don't get as many shots. Granted, it's a little bit faster because since I'm checking each shot, I can tell right away when I've gotten the one or enough that I'm happy with versus, you know, when someone else is holding the camera, they're just shooting rapid fire, like a ton of photos. So I don't always know. So we could honestly be shooting for like five minutes and I don't check any of the photos until like after those five minutes are done. Versus this way, I could actually get the shot done in like a couple of minutes maybe and be happy and just go. So it's kind of like a trade off. It is like more setup time though. And it's a little bit difficult to like figure out your angle on your own, but I've done it enough times that I have a pretty good handle on it, but I'm glad that that's over and I got that done. I was able to get two outfits done. So that's also going to be like less pressure time wise on Michelle and I on our next shoot next week, but I'm exhausted. It's still so hot today. And at this point I just want to go home and check on Spartacus. Oh, I should like update you guys. So like the shower was so much fun. It was so good seeing our friends again. Trevor unfortunately obviously could not make it. He was really sad that he couldn't go, but I represented for both of us and it was a cute shower. They had, I'm sure you guys saw a caramel apple bar. And that is first off one of the most creative bars I've seen. It was so cute. And second off, it was delicious. It was like the perfect dessert, nice and light with just like a little bit of sweetness. Honestly, every fall party should have a caramel apple bar for sure. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So friends, if you plan on throwing any more parties in fall that I'm invited to, please note that I would like to request a caramel apple bar. Please and thank you. It's dinner time, I am making the chicken and wild rice soup. So we got some olive oil, some low sodium chicken broth, just to control the sodium just a little bit. Sorry, the stove is a little bit dirty. We got the wild rice here, bay leaves, the mirepoix mix, some pre-cooked chicken, so I'm gonna put that back in the fridge because I don't need that till the end. Some flour and then some shredded kale. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing everything up and hopefully 
I'll make a halfway decent chicken and wild rice soup. But if you guys want the recipe that I'm following, I will leave it linked down below in the description. Just now I'm switching out just a couple of things. The recipe actually calls for spinach. I'm putting in kale and actually I almost forgot. It also calls for mushrooms, which I just totally forgot to get, but I did get some red skin potatoes to add to this. So I'm also gonna add that in as well. As if I could see you, girl, how about tonight? Tell me no, but the lady you like come through tonight. You decide, you devouring me. I'm an hour out, GPS, you ride it for me. So I got the soup here, it looks so good. Basically what I did is I just made the soup without the chicken because I was gonna use pre-cooked, pre-shredded chicken. So I have one batch here that's for Trevor that doesn't have chicken, that's why I did that. So I just put the chicken in mine, then put the hot soup over it to warm up the chicken and just kind of worked it in all together and it looks so good. Have a little olive toast on the side, but that's dinner. spoons already well that is gonna be it for this vlog i'm just sitting here making my new favorite late night snack magic spoon cocoa and peanut butter don't sleep on it put a little almond milk on top it's freaking lovely and then one thing that i did tell you guys last night is that like all of the chocolate and peanut butter kind of like melted off into the almond milk at the end so it was like a nice little chocolate peanut buttery almond drink it was so good but mm. mm -hmm. okay right, now i go to bed i gotta clean things up i got a fuck ton of soup left like look at this you guys see this this could feed us for like the rest of the week like insane i'm gonna go to bed now that I watched The Office, which I'm so happy I can watch again, even if it is only five seasons, I am about 90% sure I'm going to upgrade to like the $4.99 tier because I really want Parks and Rec. I miss Parks and Rec. I feel like I actually, I hate to say it, but I think Parks and Rec wins out slightly more for me than The Office. Just, just by a hair. But anyways, I'm going to go to bed. Enjoy. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Whatever you say, go.